Welcome everyone to another observability clinic. Today I have with me Kati Sik. Hi. Hi, thank you for having me. Hey, uh, Kati, great to be here. We are trying out a little new format, but really I heard you speak at KubeCon about Crossplane. Yes, I did. And it was actually huge. It was a great experience to be there. Awesome. And uh, I think that's also the topic we are talking about today, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So as part of the KubeCon talk, um, we built a dashboard to ensure that we can actually trust Crossplane as part of our platform. And so we wanted to ensure the resi resiliency of Crossplane. And mm. yeah, that's what we tried to do and what I want to show you today. Cool. Can you fill us in a little bit? What do you mean with resiliency? Are there, what type of questions do we answer with this? Um, yeah, of course. Um, for us, when it came to Crossplane, we got started with it. We, we started using it. We liked it. But in the end, we always asked our questions like, how can we be sure that Crossplane is healthy? Are actually all the providers that we installed healthy? So our AWS provider healthy, yeah. our GitHub provider, and so on. And at the same time, do we have any problems with the resources we are creating? Mm -hmm. And so we tried to combine all of that into one single dashboard that actually shows all of this information. But we also got further than that with alerts and so on. And today, I want to show you how to get started with that. Awesome. So that means for everybody that is interested in observability, uh, you've uh, like a little setup prepared for us, I think, right? Um, let's just check it out, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out how we can expose the metrics of Crossplane, first of all. How can we get them? Mm -hmm. um, then we're going to collect them with Dynatrace, with the one agent in this case, but mm -hmm. you could also use the Open Telemetry Collector, for mm -hmm. example. We're going to build a dashboard that mm -hmm. shows you like how you can start it, what you can do. But this dashboard is definitely not the limit of what you can do. As soon as you know how to use the metrics, you can adjust them to all your use cases, get creative, get the insights you need, cool. and so on. I can also think of um, Crossplane, a very critical component to modern platform engineering. So whoever owns Crossplane, let's say the platform engineering team, they want to have SLOs on Crossplane, they want to get alerted on Crossplane problems before it actually impacts the people that actually use your platform. So. Yeah, exactly. I think it's the worst thing that can happen to you is somebody calling you, your platform is not working. Yeah. So we definitely want to be the first ones to know. Cool. Hey, besides uh, PowerPoint, do we also have maybe a little bit more, maybe like a little demo or something? Yes, of course. Let's get to the most interesting part, I think, and let's go to the demo. So what I prepared for today is I create a simple kind cluster. And when we check it, we will see that um, we first have Dynacube here, so the Dynatrace operator is already installed. If we switch to the um, Crossplane system namespace, we can see that Crossplane is installed, that Google Cloud Storage mm -hmm. provider is installed, and the GCP provider family because we need it. But that's actually it. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we of course have we of course have mm -hmm. um, our Dynatrace tenant. Mm -hmm. Um, which has the Crossplane Observability demo cluster in here. We have all the data, and that's our starting point. So let's go ahead. Let's make all of the, this a bit more interesting. And what we did for that is we have documented all the steps we will be doing right now in a notebook. We will show you later on where to mm -hmm. get this. Mm -hmm. um, and let's start with exposing Crossplane metrics. To do that, let's go back to the terminal, close K9s. And I already have an empty values file for Crossplane. So what we're going to do here is we will say metrics and we want to enable them. Let's make it true. And that's it already. Mm. Um, yeah, let's upgrade our Crossplane installation, which is this one. And after a few seconds, we should be done. And if we head back to K9s now, and if we check out the Crossplane deployment, and the YAML, let's hope it has updated already. If we search for the ports, we can see that it is exposing uh, metrics on port 8080. And by that, we are already good to go with Crossplane. Cool, that's nice. So that means the Helm chart of Crossplane has a simple property that says metrics on, and that just exposes then the uh, metrics endpoint on port 8080. Awesome. Exactly. So it's actually pretty easy, easy. to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, once that is done, let's go back to our notebook. Let's see what to do next. And the next thing would be to actually expose Crossplane provider metrics. But the cool thing about all Crossplane providers, at least generated with AppChat, so all the official providers and a few more, already expose them by default, so there is nothing to do here. Mm -hmm. um, if you're using some open source providers that um, 
that are not generated with Upjet, you might need to check the documentation for the metrics they expose, maybe contribute something. Yeah. But yeah, pretty easy. Cool. And also, thank you so much for providing all the links here. Folks, uh, this uh, notebook will be available on GitHub, and the link to that Git repository is also in the description of this video. But let's, con let's continue. Collecting mm -hmm. all the metrics, that sounds like an interesting thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For that one, I'm going to copy the thing. I'm not going to type everything. So mm -hmm. the first we need to do is we need to tell Dynatrace to actually get the metrics from Crossplane and its providers. And with, we can do that with custom annotations on the ports and deployments. And with this custom annotations thing up here, we are telling Crossplane to add these annotations to all their deployments that mm -hmm. they are using. So if we switch back to the terminal, close this one again, edit the values.yaml, and paste this one. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I think a little tick in the end is missing. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and so if we go ahead, apply this one again. Uh -huh. We already did that for Crossplane itself. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit more interesting for the Crossplane providers because we also need to apply that to all Crossplane providers, but we are not installing them via Helm, so we cannot do it via mm -hmm. values.yaml. Um, but what Crossplane is offering for us is a so-called deployment runtime config ah, okay. where you can actually configure things for all the deployments of the provider. And in here, you can see it's a very simple Kubernetes YAML again. It's a um, custom package provided by Crossplane for us. And what we simply do is to the deployment template, we add the annotations to all deployments mm -hmm. and to all pods so that we can be sure to really, really get all data. Perfect. And that's kind of enabling the Dynatrace native way on how we automatically then start scraping those metrics. Folks, you mentioned this earlier. If you want to use open telemetry, if you have an open telemetry collector and you're pulling in uh, Prometheus metrics from open telemetry, then you can also do that and just send it to Dynatrace. But this is uh, obviously the Dynatrace native way just by putting annotations on of our on the deployments. Cool. Exactly. So let's apply all of that. Do this. And by that, we're good to go. Wow. Um, we are exposing all metrics, we are scraping all metrics. Uh -huh. So now actually the fun part starts where we can start using them. And yeah, that's, that's what we just did. Mm -hmm. And where we can use it to chart it. Yeah. And what we did here is we built a sample dashboard um, that, all, that utilizes some of the metrics at least. And um, we tried to answer our like most, most important questions. So is, is Crossplane scaled properly? What if resources take longer to mm -hmm. create or to, to delete than they actually should? Or what if they fail to create at all? So those were our main questions when we got started with this. Mm -hmm. And we always try to find metrics that um, answer those questions for us. And in addition to that, um, it's always good to not limit yourself to the metrics, in my opinion, because Kubernetes warnings in this case would tell us a lot of it mm -hmm. as well if mm -hmm. there were some. Um, so we combined this information with like standard Kubernetes data as well. Cool. and try to get most of the answers out of that. So what I really like about this, Katarina, is you actually put yourself into the position of somebody that needs to operate Crossplane and needs to make sure it's resilient and it's available. And then you try to figure out what metrics are available from Crossplane, what will help us, which metrics help you to actually then answer this question. Mm -hmm. You put it nicely on a dashboard, and as you mentioned, you can then go ahead and even create um, you know, notifications. You can create alerts. You can grow as SLAs, SLOs. So that's all really cool, and I like the way you've structured this. Yeah, it's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, and yeah, that's actually it. Yeah. I have now navigated away from the notebook. Um, but down there, um, we also added links to all um, to which metrics are actually exposed by the providers and by Crossplane itself. Mm -hmm. um, so you can read that in the documentation of Crossplane. I think it's yeah, it's over here. Yeah. Um, you can import our sample dashboard that I just showed you to get started. And as said, you basically have no limits. You can do whatever you want. Awesome. Perfect. Wow. Uh, so with this, uh, let me let us actually bring us back into the picture, into the frame here. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Any additional resources? I think the uh, the talk that you also did at KubeCon is available for online consumption. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Do you know where this, where this is available? Um, yes, we collected all of the information in a GitHub repository. It's called Dynatrace Perf Clinics, um, Dynatrace Getting Started. And if you navigate here to the How to Diagnostics folder, and then there should be something with crossplane in here. Yeah, how to make crossplane observable. You can click this one. And this should be your starting point okay. to all the resources we have. Um, so you can see the talk we did is linked here. Mm -hmm. And you can also, you have the links to the raw notebook and sample dashboard that you can import to your tenant. And I hope you have fun with it. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, Katharina, thank you so much for being here. Oh, and thank you. for enlightening everybody that is responsible for crossplane. Folks, if you're using Crossplane for your platform engineering uh, initiatives or for whatever else, however else you call it, make sure it's resilient and available. And Kathy showed us how to get the observability piece in so you can actually answer all these questions. Thank you. We'll be back soon, I guess, right? At some, with new topics. I hope so. Uh, definitely. Bye-bye. <laughs> See Bye. ya.